Toka Touring Car Championship is an iconic and classic racing game that was developed by Codemasters and released for the PlayStation in late 1997. The game also got subsequent releases on the Windows PC and later on the Game Boy Color in the year 2000. And this game replicates the iconic British Touring Car Championship but more to the point it replicates the 1997 season of the championship itself where you have a list of all of the registered cars and vehicles from all of the well-known brands from like so Renault, Audi, Honda to name but a few and you also had a list of a lot of the licensed and professional drivers that were racing at that time in the championship itself but what was a pretty cool feature is the game also had Tiffany Dell do the voiceover for the commentary within the game in between the races and this game primarily is more of a simulation focused racing game and is, is at the time it was one of the first games to generally start to go for a more realistic take on racing games so this was one of the very early versions to do so and the game itself was an overall commercial success in Europe selling 600,000 copies in its first six months upon release and stayed number three in the UK game charts for quite a number of weeks and it's easy to see why as the game has some great features and modes available there's a ton of cars to choose from with loads of tracks all from the Toka Championship itself anything from the likes of Brands Hatch to Silverstone amongst other iconic racing tracks throughout the UK. The one thing to note with this game is that it is a really really good racing game and it's also considered to be one of the best racing games on the system only bettered by its sequels Toka 2 and World Touring Cars that were developed years later and it also has various different game modes where you can qualify for races you have time attack and you also have multiplayer modes so you can play with your friends but as this game is more simulation focused it can be for most people especially beginners playing these type of games this game can be quite difficult to master as it's not an overly easy game to pick up and play it wouldn't be typical of games the likes of Ridge Race or other types of arcade racing games as with this game there's very little room for error so if you do make a mistake or you go off on the track especially at the later stages in races it's very very hard to pick up the pace to try and even win your positions back so more often than not you'll find yourself having to restart the race or the championship entirely now the championships are quite long because for each race in question you have to go through two different races and each race session you have to do a qualifying session in advance to try and gain a position in the ranks because if you skip the qualifying session you will automatically be placed at the very last point in the pack which would be like 16th position and from there you have to climb up to try and reach first place and that can be a task in itself in the game especially later on in the championship as even though the handling is very very good it can also be a little bit on the twitchy side and because it is more realistic compared to other racers the slightest little touch or twitch on the track or even collisions with other cars can leave you very easily spinning off and veering off onto the grass or into a wall or even into gravel pits which will drastically slow the car down but what was a cool feature about this game that wasn't really seen at the time was it was one of the first racing games to ever have a fully 3d cockpit where you could see inside of the car in a 3d style environment where you could see the racer grabbing on to the steering wheel and moving it in real time and even changing the gears which was pretty cool so it was technically the first in its kind and of a lot of respects it pretty much followed on and took a lot of inspiration from the likes of the formula one games that were also extremely popular but it put it into a different setting so you could see where it got its influence from i remember going back to my own personal experience with this game and i originally played it it was on a demo disc originally you only got to play one track and i remember myself and my brothers and my mates because a lot of these games are still quite new to us back then and there was a quite a big hype and build up to this game at the time especially when it was being released on the demo and i remember specifically buying the magazine to get access to the demo to play it and i remember we played that demo for weeks even though you were only playing the one track now it was difficult to play because you weren't playing on the easiest difficulty the difficulty was already set you could win races but you really had to get a feel for the game and you had to anticipate when to break when to overtake and to be very sensitive with the controls because if you tried to be too aggressive going into corners or if you tried to go around corners at any type of speed it would crucify you the car would automatically spin out so the game rewards you for sensitive but precision based driving but it will cripple you for aggressive driving so that's where in terms of the realism comes into play so you do have to be mindful of that but I remember playing that demo for ages probably more so than when I actually played the, the full game when I eventually 
eventually got it because the championships themselves can be very long it's considering you have to do all of the qualification rounds and the sessions in each race in the championship it'll be one of those games it will take quite a few hours just to play through one championship you nearly need to play through a few races and then leave it for a couple of hours or don't play it until the next day and then come back and play it over the course of a couple of days because it can be quite long but i do remember the demo being a lot of fun played it for ages played it for weeks and then both myself and my brothers i always tried to play with the inside the car mode with the cockpit mode even though that was difficult to master but it was really fun because it really gave you a feel of what it was like to drive a car which i've always i'm a big car fan myself and back then any excuse to be able to get that feel of what it'd be like to drive a car especially when you're a kid when you're younger growing up was really cool and this game definitely was one of the first of its kind to give you that inspiration and to give you that feel of what it's like to drive a car from that view especially on the console within your own living room so that in itself was really awesome so Toka Touring Car Championship is a really fun game to play it will test you I'm not going to deny that it is a difficult game it's not an easy game to pick up and play at all it will reward you for really good driving but it will cripple you for poor driving and for aggressive driving so it's a case of give and take with the game you really do have to put a lot of time and effort into it to really practice and to build up your skill level with the game because when you do that it is a very rewarding experience and you will enjoy the process and then when you go on from that and you go on to play it subsequent sequels especially Toka 2 which is a vast improvement on the PlayStation and that game in itself is extremely underrated which is a pity because that's also one of the best racing games on the system hands down and it doesn't get the amount of love and attention that it really deserves but this game in its own right is equally as good even though it is primarily more difficult to pick up and play and it's really good graphics for its time as well so that in itself is pretty cool and the fact is that it replicates an iconic championship adds to the realism and the experience of the overall game so it definitely is worth playing if you're into racing games and you love playstation 1 racing game you definitely have to check out toka touring car championship and i'd love to know your thoughts on this game if you have played it yourself and if so what do you think of it do you enjoy these type of racing games that were released on the system back in the day and even more to the point do you enjoy these more realistic take on racing games that were released on the system i'd love to hear your thoughts on this game so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated when future videos are released and if you'd like to see more games and reviews of other types of racing games similar to toka touring car championship that were released on the ps1 then make sure to check out the playlists here on the screen to see more of those games in action and until next time make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them and keep those gaming memories alive